Because of COVID, holiday travel looks different this year. Some people need to travel out of state for one reason or another. And in most cases, masks are mandated when you board the plane. The CDC does say that some people cannot wear masks. For months now, John Morris, founder of wheelchairtravel.org, has been writing about how airline mask mandates impact people with disabilities. I heard from one reader who is no longer able to take her daughter to some of her medical appointments because they're not able to fly on Southwest Airlines, which serves their airport. Most of the major airlines in the U.S. require passengers on board age two and older to mask up. No exemptions, even if you have a disability. Do you think this is, you know, infringing on their rights? Absolutely, I do. I think that uh, I think that we can we can create um, safety protocols um, that you know apply to to those who are able to observe them, and then offer that exemption to people who cannot. Do you think airlines should make exceptions for that? I think it should be very limited. This is Heather Hyman and her mom, Marcy Bauscher, who is the CEO of Independence First, a nonprofit in Southeast Wisconsin offering services to people with disabilities. Both women support airline mask mandates, but agree there can be extreme cases where someone can't wear one. If they had to travel, then they would need to find um, different means of doing so or make it to where there's nobody within 10 feet around them on the plane. Heather has asthma and a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It affects her skin, joints, and blood vessels. One of the things for me with masks, my skin is, um, it tears really easy. It's friable. Um, so the masks tear the skin around my ears. Despite the discomfort, she recently flew to Wisconsin from California and wore two masks. Everyone's medical history and journey is different. Do you see it changing anytime soon with the pandemic being where it's at? Even with a vaccine on the horizon, uh, not everyone will be vaccinated immediately. I think that the policies will continue. If you're flying during the holidays and you need to check the mask policy for your airline, just click on the link in this story on TMJ4.com. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. Thanks, Kristen. 653 on TMJ4 News Today.